हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज हरि मोहन राय असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन सी डिपार्टमेंट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टुडे अ डायोड क्लैंपर सर्किट एज यू नो वेल बट टुडे आई आई शो यू अ वेरी यूनिक न्यू अप्रोच टू सॉल्व योर डायोड क्लैंपर सर्किट विदाउट एनी मिस्टेक इट इज अ काइंड ऑफ ट्रिक यू कैन से एंड by using this method easily you can draw the output waveforms as well as you can find out the output of the given diode circuit whatever the kind of diode you have i hope you will understand uh, this concept so let us move forward so before explaining uh, the diode clamper circuit i am going to uh, i am going to define you what is diode and how it works okay so uh, let us see the diode clamper circuit the clamper circuit is basically a device uh, electronic device which is to clamp up or clamp down the input sinusoidal waveforms in the output that means whatever the input we are giving it should be a sinusoidal it is a square wave rectangular wave or whatever the wave is it used to only moves ya yeah, shift upwards or downwards depending upon the diode applications capacitor is remain same uh, but depending upon the application of diode it uses to moves either up in up direction or down direction second point is is constructed using capacitor diode resistance capacitor is compulsory it will be in the always in series with the input waveforms uh, whatever the input we are providing it will be always in uh, series with the input waveforms capacitor diode will be always shunted with the input or <coughs> you can say with the output uh, so there is only one kind of uh, clamper will be uh, construction of clamper will be like capacitor will be always in series with the input waveforms and diode always will in shunt with the input waveforms or uh, you can say that low resistance and the resistance we are using in a load so that we can find out the output wave output of the given uh, input and the battery battery is will be only in the case of bias clamper in case of unbiased clamper we does not required any battery so in unbiased clamper the only capacitor diode and resistance is required for constructing a clamper circuit but in bias clamper the batteries will be also added the third important point is in clamper is the peak to peak value of the waveforms never get changes it means that if the input waveforms we are providing is a sine wave and which vary plus 5 to minus 5 it means that its peak to peak value is 10 isn't it so in the output also when even though it shifted downwards or upwards the peak to peak value will be always 10 only okay for example if it is shifted to from 0 Uh, I mean, zero uh, to minus ten. It means that its peak to peak value is ten only. Or it is shifted upwards from zero to plus ten. It means the peak to peak value is ten only. Okay. So and the shape and size of the waveforms will be remain same. It means that the shape, uh, whatever the input waveforms like sine wave or square wave or rectangular wave, whatever you are giving, the output will be in the same uh, shape and size. Uh, like. it will be always sinusoidal rectangular triangular whatever the input you, you have given isn't it so this one you have you will be keeping into your mind that this is the clamper circuit and depending upon this uh, will we'll divide uh, define the clamper or divide the clamper into two class that is unbiased clamper and biased clamper in unbiased clamper most of the books or most of the person divided the positive clamper and negative clamper positive clamper means if it is moves upward direction that means in positive direction the wave shift wave shifted in up direction then it is called the positive clamper and when the wave shift in down in negative direction that is called as the negative <coughs> clamper now in unbiased clamper <coughs> how we define unbiased clamper as you know that there is no biasing biasing means where no external battery is applying and the waveform is shifted completely downwards or upward from the zero axis that means from the origin isn't it 
only when we are using the ideal diode but when we use the practical diode like we are using practical silicon diode the silicon diode having the knee voltage 0 0.7 then it will be completely shifted from 0 0.7 to down or com completely it will be going upwards from 0 0.7 to upward isn't it but when it is uh, we are using an ideal diode it will be completely shifted from zero axis zero to like uh, completely from 0 to minus 10 or from 0 to plus 10 or 0 to minus 20 plus 20 whatever the input we comes with. So in this case there is no external battery applied. The application of battery only is the name named is unbiased clamper and bias clamper. So we are coming into the bias clamper. In this case the compulsory thing is applying an external battery. Usually already we have cap capacitor and diode but apart from it we have an battery which is applied uh, to the clamper circuit due to this the waveforms will be shifted in this case also in up direction or down direction but depending upon the battery as well as quality of the battery in which direction a positive battery or negative battery are applied as well as the diode direction in which direction diode is so I hope so the clamper circuit is clamper circuit is clear yeah, how the clamper circuit works clamper is a device it does not cut or does not remove or does not do anything it just only shift the waveforms <coughs> in up direction or down direction depending upon the application of the waveform Actually, okay we are moving to the next here I am showing you an example of unbiased clamper unbiased clamper you can see that there is an input we are providing here this is the input which is varying plus v in to minus v in here so and the it is the uh, time period is 0 to t by 2 and complete time period is t isn't it this is the input waveforms this is sine waveforms we have applied a uh, capacitor the voltage across the capacitor is vc as you see here and the diode which is in downward direction downward direction means we are just looking at this point that means negative point it is also known as <coughs> cathode cathode of the diode so so this negative this is the negative uh, sign of the diode and this is the positive sign of the diode so we look this arrow sign which is nothing but negative side of the diode in which direction it will be the waveforms will be shifted in that direction only so in this case we can see that this is the only di uh, I am going to uh, explain about the methods which will not solve it by using KVL or other methods directly will draw the output waveforms like <coughs> what you have to see you have to see the di direction of diode only so in this case on an, in unbiased clamper we see the direction of diode that means the negative sign of the diode is in downward direction okay so the waveforms will be shifted in a completely downwards from the zero axis since the diode application of diode is uh, ideal diode this is not silicon or germanium diode so it will be completely shifted from 0 to uh, whatever the peak value is so we, we, we see here the peak value plus v in to minus v in means 2 v in isn't it so here if the one point is it is shifting from 0 so 0 to uh, our peak to peak value 2 v in will be minus 2 v in and the origin that means the 0 axis is plus v in down from the maximum point so what we'll do plus v in i mean v in will make down that means the origin will be minus v in so you can see here it is varying from minus v in to zero and minus v in to minus two v in isn't it and the waveforms again it is the same shape and size zero to t by two and t by two to t it means that what we have done we have just shifted the waveforms from zero to either downwards and upwards depending upon the application of diode. If the diode uh, this negative portion of the diode would be in upward direction then waveforms could have shifted upwards completely upward from 0 to plus 2 a isn't it? So the unbias is very simple so we'll go for the bias clamper which will be uh, kind of uh, problems is basically students get gets uh, to solve it and find out the output and always confuse uh, regarding finding out their output and output waveforms so here i'm going uh, here i will explain about the bias clamper a uh, unique methods without solving it and i'll make it very fire also if those are having mm, those people they're getting confused that i am doing in the wrong way or something it is not a right way 
so i'll verify it using kvl 